Hey everyone, it's Keely here for Soy and Shay and thank you so much for joining me for today's soap making video. We're in a bit of a different location today. We are at Raby Bay and I am down here to collect some seawater to go into the next soap. It's not exactly the nicest day today. It rained overnight and we had huge fog this morning but the water is still going to be beautiful to collect from here. I like to come down to Raby Bay because it's always nice and crystal clear when you see it. So let's go and get our seawater. We'll get back to the shop which is about a 10 minute brisk walk from here and we'll get on to making our soap. the shop with our sea water and it's time to start actually preparing our lye water and our oils and everything else now this isn't any just any normal soap that I'm making today this is one of the patreon design soap recipes I asked my patrons to give me two elements that they'd like to see me use in a soap and I put everyone's suggestions into the soapy jug and the one I drew out came from Teresa and I will leave her business details down in the description box as soon as I hear back from her and she suggested that I use glacial clay and menthol crystal. Now, um, the menthol crystal I know will already give a really nice fresh feeling to this bar of soap. And I was very curious about the glacial clay because I'd never heard of it. I did a whole heap of research on it and I did share that information over on the Patreon page as well about this clay. And it is a very rare clay. It's got this beautiful green blue tinge to it and it's good for exfoliating, good for all different skin types. It's got a neutral pH so it's really good um, lots of different uses for it but it is extremely rare and it took me a while to actually find it available here in Australia I was able to get myself some Canadian um, glacial clay whereas there is also a New Zealand glacial clay as well and they are both formed very differently but I did manage to get the Canadian one um, we're going to pop it into our soap today and I figured having glacial clay and the menthol crystal it would be perfect to make it with um, the seawater and make a beautiful luxurious bar of soap with it. So let's get on to making our lye water and preparing the oils for it. Now if you are interested in this recipe it is one that I'm sharing on my Patreon page this month and it will actually stay there for all time because I do tend to leave the soap recipes available um, on the Patreon without moving them off the level so no matter what time you if you do come and join it will be there you just need to look for the um, the soap recipes there so let's go and get this all prepared
lime water have come down to right temperature so we are ready to start. The lime water you can see is cloudy and that is due to the salt that is in here. So there's nothing wrong with my lime water, it is just that salt content. What I'm going to start by doing is pouring in the glacial clay which has been hydrating in here. Um, I'm just trying to get as much of that little spatula as I can. I'm going to pour it in. I am then going to pour, mix it in, add the lime water and then split it up for some colours before pouring it into the big slab mould that I'm using. I'm doing these as a luxury soap bar so these will be slightly different shape and size to what I usually use. And I'm going to set most of this to music because this is fairly simple from this point forward. So the fragrance I put in this one was um, Shoreline from Off of Aroma and it smells really good. It's quite a masculine smell. I use it in a couple of my other products already and it sells really well. Um, it's got a real salty, oceany sort of smell but quite masculine too. Um, a bit like a Norska or a pine sort of aroma. But actually the minute I put it into that beautifully fluid soap batter, it riced and then it's sped up trace and it's probably also to, may have reacted either to the clays or the menthol crystal because both are actually accelerants in this um, but it has um, come up quite well hopefully we've got some good swirls in there smells amazing we're going to leave it sit here overnight and then we'll be back very shortly and we'll cut it open Awesome is that green color on there I love it and I'm really hoping that is going to stay that color green as it um, goes through its cure process I was really expecting to come back in today and find it a much paler shade than it was yesterday but it is still pretty much the same I'm just cutting the ends off these love the swirls um, my idea was to try and keep the swirl up to the top and I was really really hoping that even though this accelerated on me it was still going to work so let's get this one cut oh so that side is what I was kind of aiming for but absolutely love how that has come together I've got a few little um, air holes in there which I don't know how I've got those sort of air pockets considering how thick it did get on me but I absolutely love how this has turned out and I'm just so over the moon with the color of it as well there is another one and I was a bit worried that this green wouldn't um, look very good with the green of the clay, but I decided to go for it anyway, just in case it did fade on me or anything like that. 
but I think it all works really, really well. It smells really good as well, that menthol that's in here. It really adds to that naughty shoreline fa um, fragrance oil that I used um, and it really adds to it and it will have that nice cool fresh feeling on the skin which is kind of something I associate with glacial things. So looking forward to being able to try a bar of this one myself but I'm really 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 pleased with it. If you do want to see final photos of this one when um, it is cured to see if it does hold that green, make sure to come along and follow me over on Instagram. The photo that I have used um, for the front of this video is after it has been cut because I'm running a little bit late with making this one, but I will post fi final cure photos of this one over on Instagram in about four to five weeks time and it will go up as one of the luxury bars. What I might do is go and grab the other um, block and we'll see what patterns we've got in that sort of middle loaf. All right, so we've got the middle one here. Let's take a bit of a look. Oh, wow, so that was that side and that's in there as well. So even though this did thicken up on me, I was able to get lucky like I do so many other times and still get some beautiful swirls going through this one. So really, really pleased with it. I hope you've enjoyed watching how I made the glacial clay and menthol crystal soap. If you did, why not leave me a thumbs up, any comments down below. And until the next video comes out, I hope you have a good one and I will see you then. Bye.